today to our Paralyzed Math Industry, and we are going to do the CPI with the salary. So we're going to calculate CPI and also look at the different salaries of each year. So the two videos ago, we learned about CPI. But last video, we looked at what is the cost of the basket and how can we calculate the CPI consumer price index of that basket. But now we're trying to see if the salary this year is better than 1980. Here's an example. In 1980, the CPI was 90 and the average salary was 24,000. However, today the CPI is 180 and the average salary is 50,000. The main question is, is the salary better today or in 1980? So here's a catch with this. Some people may say it's better because the number is bigger and also since there's inflation, it's giving us more money. However, we're not even getting any of that kind of money. Because with inflation, many people will strike and beg for their income to raise too. So they can survive during inflation. So, not or nothing. Even though it looks like a bigger number, it doesn't mean that it's always better. So, if we proportionally understand this, we have to understand... If the salary in 1980 and the salary today, 2023, is better proportionally to inflation. So when you're in an in inflation crisis, many people will strike or will probably demand for a better payment for their income because in order for it to survive or them to survive, it has to be proportional. So there's no, you lose money or you gain money. So in order to do that, we're going to do a special kind of math. We have to convert 1980s in the salary and try to compare it with today. So what we're going to do is do 24,000 and we have to multiply that by, in parentheses, 180 divided by 90 because that is the CPIs for the different salaries within a city. And we also have to equal it to something but that equal signs we have no idea remember that question i asked you a few videos ago is it better to live in city a or b because a gives you more money than b well it doesn't really it's not really that you're getting more money it's proportional to the cost of living within that city and also proportional to the taxes and inflation so when you do the math, when you do this divided by that, you'll get two. So 24,000 multiplied by two equals 48,000. So with 1980 and also 2023, if we proportionally do that, originally it was 24,000 for 1980, and 2023 for 50,000. We got an answer as if we were living in the 1980s 
and proportionally it was the same as 2023, we would be able to earn 48,000. So if that was the proportional amount in 1980, since it's lower than today's, that means the salary is better than 1980. So they're giving us a little bit more money from the proportion with inflation and taxes. However, if that number wasn't it, and say the number was over like 58,000, that means living with the same job in 1980, like 40 years ago, would have been better because the proportions are then the same. We try to have them the same, but the payment salary in 1980 would have been better. In 2023, they would have laid you off. So ask your parents, or if you have a job, your salary now, and research what that salary was going to be earlier, like 1980s, 70s, 60s. Experiment with it. It's really fun. Then you'll get to say, if I lived in that era, I would have gotten less money or more money. Who knows? Why don't you try and do that for fun, for homework? Calculating your own salary with the CPI. I hope this video has helped you understand calculating the CPI and the salary to see if the salary today is better or like 40 years ago. Thank you for watching Tao Pingalize Math Industry. Like and subscribe.